Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra is now the recommended developer for an indoor-outdoor concert venue downtown at the Banks. The Banks Steering Committee favored CSO over two out-of-town concert business developers. Local 12's Jeff Hurst joins us live from the Banks with what happens next. Jeff? Well, good evening. Oh, this is the perfect night for a place like the Banks. It's a nice night. The Reds are home. There are people walking around. There are people sitting at some of the outdoor restaurants. But fast forward to February, you know, it's nine degrees. This place is dead. So the hope is that a concert venue will bring in out-of-town performers, thousands of tourists, and will mean money in the Banks. The Cincinnati Symphony is a presence all over town, of course at Music Hall, at the suburban outdoor venue Riverbend, and now apparently downtown as well. There's another reason to come to the banks, and it's Riverview. Riverview is the name of a $19 million, 4,000 seat indoor concert venue CSO wants to build on top of a parking garage near Paul Brown Stadium for various touring acts, not for the symphony itself. There would also be a seasonal outdoor stage. The bank's steering committee favored CSO's proposal over two others, one from Columbus-based Promo West. The other rejected plan was from California-based Live Nation. I would like to think that when it comes to getting bucks and seats, Live Nation, clearly, by virtue of you know, analytics, is the number one promoter of the world. We get the bucks and the seats. But on a four to one vote, the bank's committee stayed close to home, recommending CSO and its affiliate, music and event management called MEMI. We need some energy down there, and, and uh, this is going to give it to us. So there's 4,000 people per show. They're going to be wandering the banks, restaurants, bars. I know that there are restaurant owners and business owners that are enthusiastically supporting uh, this concept. Does it matter to you who runs it or do you just want something here? We just want something here. Our biggest focus from the beginning when we started chasing this six years ago is something that programs in the winter. Now, this vote today Four to one, Charlie Lucan on the board voting no. This vote today is just a recommendation. City Council and the Hamilton County Commissioners have final say. And Mayor John Cranley wrote to the Bank Steering Committee asking them to endorse Promo West. The mayor was concerned that because the CASO is a nonprofit organization, they might need tax dollars down the road to make this thing work. The uh, CSO proposal and the Promo West proposal do not call for any public money for construction of the building. The Live Nation proposal, a much bigger one, called for 36 million public capital construction dollars. Live at the banks, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News, back to you. All right, so help me uh, envision what this is. I, I hear that it's some outdoor and then right. an indoor venue too. Have you seen pictures? or is anybody envisioning what we're going to find in the end? Well, there are some schematics that have been put out for both of the plays, for all three of them, actually, and assuming the CSO one does happen, there's the 4,000-seat indoor venue, and then there's a outdoor venue that kind of will spread out in front of it and, and incorporate, I believe, some of the park, and that would carry or hold up to 8,000 people. There will be about 20 to 25 outdoor events a year they're projecting, and well over 100 if they fill it as many nights as they hope to indoors. All right, thanks very much. Nice picture you painted there. Right. Assuming City Council and the County Commissioner say yes, the bank's concert venue could be open in late 2019.